Uh, what's up, guys? I'm gonna be making a uh, gallery today. It's gonna be pretty sweet. It's incredibly easy to do, and just a couple lines of jQuery. You have that bad boy done in no time. Let's get down to it. I got a little HTML5 set up here. Blow it up. Can you read that? All right. We're gonna make a. Uh, this thing's gonna consist of a really big image here, and a bunch of little thumbnails. So that should be pretty easy. I already have some styling here. Just just ignore that. Because CSS is irrelevant to this tutorial. Um, let's make a large image here. Or no, let's make a div. We'll call it a gallery, I guess. And inside of this gallery, we're going to have a image. Source the images. And we'll just grab the first image that's in my folder. I'm not even going to put anything in there. You put an alt tag just so it validates. Um, and we'll give this an ID of the large image. And we'll give it a height and width too. Height and width. I don't really know. 300. What that looks like. A horrible idea. Did that backwards. That's probably not working right because I put gallery three L's and it's not. There you go. So let's put some uh, some thumbs down here. Those thumbnails are gonna contain of um, a list. And we're going to give it an ID of thumbnails, we'll call it thumbs. Inside of here, we're going to put some LIs with an anchor and an image. So I already got a shortcut in Coda because I'm cool. I'm just going to type in LIA tab. I get an A anchor inside of an LI. Now inside of that, I'm going to put an image source images slash one dot jpeg I'm gonna go inside my images folder so from here here's our gallery HTML we're going into our images folder grabbing one of these bad boys that I already have I'm not even using this um Now that we have that, we also want to make this source the same as this H for link. We'll leave these double quotes just so they both blue. And then I'm just gonna duplicate that a couple times. So I'm gonna give this a two, three, four, five, six, because that's how I have my images set up. And then it goes all the way to eight actually. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's uh I actually have a class on here for first, just so you don't have to do this, but I already have it. I already made it earlier, so I need that. And that just gets rid of uh the margin, unneeded margin. So that's all we need for there. And I'll give it an H1 tag just so I can say awesome gallery. And I'll spell awesome wrong. I'll, I'll just leave it that way so you can laugh. Um, now we need our jQuery. Well, let's see what that looks like. Hmm. Doesn't look right. Probably because I didn't close any of my images. Well, that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go like that on every one of my images here. I 
Boom. All right. So let's go into the jQuery. And I already have a code of snippet for that. So uh, that's how awesome snippets are. I'm just going to type in jQuery here. And boom, I already got that. Pretty much it's a script tag. Uh, if you don't know where I got that from or what the hell this link is, watch my very first video on jQuery. This is a uh, hosted jQuery on Google. And it loads really quick when using Google servers. So we're going to use another script tag. Um, if you'd want to link to your JavaScript folder, which you should do, you should have a JavaScript folder in here and put a JavaScript file. But for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to just have all my CSS, HTML, and JavaScript all in one file so you can see it all. Which is pretty easy. So I think I have a snippet called inline script. What did I do? Right, we're gonna do work in here. So this is incredibly easy, and it'll probably take us like three lines of code to do. The only thing we're gonna do is when you hover over this image, we're gonna say you hover over this image, we're going to take this href and we're going to replace it with this source. So when you hover over this, we're gonna take whatever one you hovered over whether it's this one, this one, or that one, and you're just going to replace it with the big image. So these little thumbs are going to get bigger. So let's make some uh, variables. Oh, we'll give it a var. We'll target, I don't know, uh, we'll call it an LIA. That's going to equal our LIs that have an anchor in them. So we'll say LIA, which is in our gallery. So inside of this gallery div, we have a thumb, and then inside of our thumb, if we really wanted to, we could say thumb there. And then inside of our thumb, we have an LI, an anchor. So we're going to grab that, and then we're also going to give another var, don't forget your semicolon at the end of that, another variable for our large image, and we'll say large image, and we're going to target this large image up here, which is this guy. Got it. Now we're going to do a, cl a click or a hover event, whatever you want. When you click on it or hover over it, let's go to uh, on our LIA. Let's put a bind. We'll do a click, put a function after it. And for this, at the very end, you're going to want to return false. Um, if you don't know what that means, you can look it up. It's kind of, you'll probably get confused, but basically, whenever you do a click, you're clicking on more than one thing. So if you return false, it stops bubbling and events that happen. So when you click on this, this isn't just a picture. This is a picture that is inside of an anchor. It is inside of an LI, it is inside of a UL, inside of a div. So this return vols just make sure you only click on the picture and it doesn't get confused with everything else. Which I guess in our case just the anchor, not the LI or anything about it. Just know that th that makes it work. Without it, probably break. For this click event. Not every click event, but usually. That's uh now we only need one line of code in here to fix this so when you click we're going to replace this source with whatever the href of the one you clicked on 
So to do that, we're going to grab the large image variable that we just made up there. And we're going to say attribute. We're going to get the large image images attribute. Um, source. Uh, this href source. And what it's going to equal is whatever you clicked on. attribute so basically we're trading attributes and we're going to take the attribute href and that needs to be in quotes so if that doesn't make sense at all we're taking the large images attribute source and we're replacing it with whatever thing we clicked which is this. This refers to the LIA. So this is an anchor. So we're replacing it with whatever we, one we clicked. So if we clicked on this one, image 2, we are taking this href, we're stealing this code, and we're throwing it right there. So it's just replacing that attribute. So with that, should work. Refresh the page. It is not working. Let's see what I did wrong. Uh, it's actually not working because up here I called this thumbs, and here I said thumb. So if I give that, and I click, and it works. So with just one line of code, uh, we did a lot. It's actually a couple lines of code. However you want to look at it, this bad boy did it all. Let's uh, and so instead of click, maybe you want to do a hover. You can do a mouse enter, refresh the page. All I have to do is bounce over it, and it changes the source. And very lastly, here let's add some jQuery to spice this up a little bit. Maybe a transition or a fade in. So let's um, after this, let's put a dot. CSS call and inside of there we'll do a uh, opacity and we'll set the opacity to zero and after that this is getting a little bit repetitive it's uh, getting this line's getting a little long it's you actually do this too and it's a little bit easier to read after that we'll do a dot animate we'll do an opacity of We'll, anim we'll animate it from 0 to 1. And let's see what that is. Semicolon at the end of the line. Actually, go there. And it works. But you can also break it. So let's put a, uh, a dot stop in there right before the animate. And we'll do the anime over four hundred. Or fourteen hundred. <laughs> Super slow. Remember one thousand is a second. So we'll just stick to four hundred. And you got a nice little gallery here.